Yo, what's going on, guys? Boy, it's Aaron. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the top 5 tips to improve your aim inside of Apex Season 11. So, without further ado, let's hop straight into it. So, first, we're going to go over sensitivity and why you should be playing on a lower sensitivity rather than a higher one. Now, the reason you should be playing on a low sensitivity is to keep your aim more accurate, especially if you're an arm aimer. If you're an arm aimer, you want to be playing on a low sensitivity between 1 and 3. If you go any higher than that as an arm aimer, you're going to miss a lot of shots. And if you are a wrist aimer, then it don't matter what sensitivity you use as long as you don't go below 3 and don't go any higher than 5. Now, sensitivity does come down to personal preference and mouth space, so keep that in mind when you are choosing a sensitivity. And, but once you've found a sense, what is good for you, keep it for a, at least a week until you decide to change it. So now we're going to go over crosshair damage feedback. Crosshair damage feedback is a little X that shows up on your screen when you shoot your shots. So I recommend turning this setting off if you want to have a more clearer game when you're playing and hit more shots. Now we're going to have a wallet routine and so why you should have one. Having a wallet routine is a great way to improve your aim and improve performance. Having a wallet routine can help you mentally prepare for in-game gunfights and it will help you drastically improve in the long run. Now we're going to go over recall and why it's important to learn every recall pattern in the game. You're not going to be more likely to hit more shots in gunfights by learning a recoil. To control the recoil of certain guns all you got to do is the opposite of what the recoil pattern is. So make sure to hop into the firing range, learn the recoil every weapon and try it out in arenas before you hop into a real match. Now last but not least we're going to be talking about aim trainers and why you should be using one. Now there's many aim trainers out there but the one I'm going to be talking about in this video is aim labs. The reason I'm going to be talking about aim labs in this video is because it's a good way to improve your aim. Now I only suggest spending 30 minutes or less inside of aim labs. But the only drugs you should be doing inside of it is tracking and flicking. Because inside of Apex there's a lot of flat tracking what's needed. And practicing on flicking will help you improve with shotguns. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'm trying to get the 5 register subs before the end of the year so every subscribe will be appreciated. But yeah I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.